Hi, in this video we're going to do some C-sharp programming and we're going to be manipulating strings. So I'll show you how to reverse a string using a for loop. So here's the goal that we're trying to accomplish in this video. We're trying to do a string operation where we reverse a string. A string is like your name. In this example here, you can see that my name is a variable called name. And I'm going to change it into another string called backwards. Now, you can probably do this with your language that you're already working with, with a simple reverse statement. But we're going to programmatically do this like you would have in a programming challenge, maybe in a job interview, or in one of your data structures and algorithms classes in computer science. So what we're going to show here is how to do this in C sharp. Down below, you can see the output. It says the reverse of Shad's Sluter is whatever you pronounce that as. So we're going to reverse a string using some very short code. Okay, so here's a preview of what the application will look like when we're finished here. We're going to make a console app and we're going to print off our name and then the statement says written backwards and then you can see the resulting string that is backwards. Here's the main program, what it's going to look like. We're going to start with a name. We'll call a function or a method called backwards string convert and then we'll print that. So this part here, this backwards string convert is the challenge. Can you create a method that will reverse a string character by character and then print the results? So let's start this project from scratch and then I'll show you all the steps that will maybe catch you off guard. So let's make a new project under file, new project. We're going to select a console application and you can see that we're using the C sharp language. However, this is pretty generic, so you could probably adapt this easily to Java or other languages as well. So I'm going to name my program reverse string example, and let's go ahead and choose next and then create, and we'll have a new hello world application in just a moment. Okay, so in the hello world application, we're going to set up our problem. I'm going to first of all create a new string called name, and you can put a long string in here. I'm going to use my full middle and last name, so that way it makes it more obvious. Then I'm going to make another string called reversed name, and it's going to get its value from this function that we're going to create in a moment. So I'll name my function as reversed string convert. So you can use any name you like here. This is an arbitrary name. Make something descriptive. But you must pass in the name string as its parameter. Then we'll print the results. So we'll do a console write line. We'll print name written backwards is reverse name. And you notice the plus sign is the concatenation operation. So it'll glue these strings together to make one long string. Then finally, we'll do a console read line. And so in case your program closes automatically when it's done executing, this will pause the program and the user will have to press enter for the program to continue before it closes. So this is the setup for making our problem uh, ready to be solved. Okay, so now let's get to the part where we need to actually solve this algorithm challenge. So I'm going to hover over the part that says we have an error. The underlined red angry text is telling us that there's a problem. So we will pick the option that says show potential fixes and the only choice that it can come up with is to generate a new method. So we'll go ahead and select that and you can see that down here on line 20 we have this new generated method called reverse string convert. And since we provided a string called name up here, it's assuming that we want to accept that as an input parameter, which we will. Now, we don't want to throw an exception because we're going to finish this. So I'll delete this line and start coding. Now, the first thing we have to do is start with something that we will build on. So I'm going to make a string called R, and it will be just an empty string. And by the time we're done, we'll be able to return R to the main program. And so this will be the constructed string. All right, let's state the problem, what we have to accomplish here. We're going to go through this string called name, letter by letter, and then reverse it. So we are going to build the string called R from the back of the name to the beginning of the name. So before I start writing the code, can you think of a for loop that runs in reverse? So let's say my name is 10 letters long. I want to make a for loop that counts down from the last position to the first position. So remember, a string is like any array. 
it counts from 0 to 9 if the length of the array is 10 units. So I would want to count from 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I want to go from the end of the array to the beginning. So let's try our first attempt at this with the given values from the for loop that is provided when you type 4 and tab tab. So you can see that by default our loop counts in the forward direction. It goes from 0 to some number length and then the increment is i++. So we want to reverse all of that. Well let's start at the end where i++ is written and so we're counting backwards which is i minus minus. Now we have to start at the beginning of our loop as a large number. So instead of i equals 0 for our initial value, we want to start at the end. So I'm going to put in the word name dot length. And this isn't going to work, but it's probably your first attempt at it. And we'll, we'll go with this. So we're going to start from the length, and then we want to count down to 0. So instead of saying that the condition is greater than length, we are now going to, or it says less than length, doesn't it? I want to change that to a greater than, and let's uh, say we're going to run this while it is greater than zero. So this probably isn't correct either, but it's close. So now we have a reversed for loop. What are we going to do for each letter in our name? So I'm going to take R and use the plus equals operator because I'm going to concatenate. I'm going to add on to the R string. Remember R stands for reversed string. So now we're going to take the name value and say whatever letter is at position i is now going to be added to the reversed string. So we're counting from the back end of the name to the front end. So it's time to test and see if this will work. So we've got ourselves a print line up here that's going to produce the results. Let's see if it works. And if it doesn't work, we'll fix it. So I'm going to click run. So the program ran and then stopped immediately. So it says here the index was out of bounds. I did something wrong. So let's see down here at the bottom if I can figure out what's wrong. So I have a counter variable of i and it says the current value is 18. And then that says it's out of bounds for some reason. So if I were to look at the string, is my full name 18 letters long? So I kind of doubt it. If I were to count all those letters, I would say that there are 18 letters, which is true. But remember, the value of the position of each letter starts at the number 0 and counts up to 17. So immediately when I get 18 as a position, it's one position beyond the length of the string. So what I need to do then is to say, I don't want to start at the length. I'm going to say start at the length minus 1. So that should fix this error. I'm going to stop the program and run it again and see what happens now. Did I get closer? It looks like it's almost there. So now it says Shad David Sluter written backwards is, and you can see the results are pretty good. It has my last name written backwards. It has David written backwards. And then it says D-A-H, da. Where is the first letter? So my first name is Shad, and it only produced the three letters here. So it didn't quite get to the first letter. Let's go back and look at the loop and see why that might be. So the, the key is here in this condition. Can you figure out what's wrong with it? It says, keep counting backwards through my name until I is no longer greater than zero. So this will stop at position one because 1 is greater than 0. But it will not include position 0 because the condition 0 greater than 0 is actually false. So what's the solution? You got it yet? Well the solution is to say we need to have a condition that says continue this while i is greater than or equal to 0. So 0 is a valid number. And let's run it again. Let's see if it'll pick up the first word now. So now when I run it, you can see that it did pick up the first word, the entire name, S-H-A-D, spelled backwards. If you'd like to take a look at another challenge, I've created a video that will show you how to print a string in skyline format. So once again, it's a good kind of a challenge for a job interview. 
And you can see skyline format is to capitalize every other letter in the string. So even if you don't watch the video, it's a good challenge to see if you could do this using another letter by letter comparison. So if you like what you see here, make sure you join the channel. My name is Shad Sluter and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University. Subscribe and I'll help you become a software developer. Thanks for watching.